if you have your mortgaging principle agreed, then you're now thinking about finding your new home. And there's lots of ways in which you can do this, lots of traditional ways. And the modern way of finding your new home is by checking online. And there's lots of different places in which you can do that. The most popular seems to be the, th the places such as Rightmove or Zoopla. You've even got on the market, but something not to forget is to don't forget to pop on to local estate agent websites as well, because they can often have properties on there before they go live in these platforms. And also don't forget to check social media. Social media is a great way to find houses because estate agents will often put posts up there saying coming soon and you can see properties before they hit the market. One thing that I would always recommend once you've got that mortgage in principle is to reach out to local estate agents. The reason that I would reach out to them is just to let them know the type of property that you're after, the type of property and what the location is, what your budget is and see if they've got anything coming onto the market at that time, they can let you know. If not, they can keep their eye out for you. They can also add you to their mailing list and you could be in the know to be one of the first to find out about the property. So checking with estate agents can be a great way to get in first, as they say, before anyone else sees it. Another way to buy properties, although it's not as common, is at auction. And auction properties are typically for developers. And if you're looking to buy a property to maybe flip it or buying a property to rent it out. You can often get a bargain or auctions. Getting a mortgage on them can sometimes be tricky depending on the type of property it is and depending on the construction type, depending on a number of factors. But auction, you can also buy properties at auctions and sometimes save a good bit of money. Something else that, and these often don't come up on the online platforms, is new build developments. Now, I've started seeing more and more new build developments advertise on places like social media and advertising on Rightmove, but they're still not all there. So if you know of any new build developments in your area, it might be worthwhile giving them a phone or popping down to see what they've got coming to the market. Typically speaking, you, they will release houses in phases and, and each different phase might have different property types. So in phase one, you might be looking for a four bed detached. Phase one might not have any, but phase two might have it or phase one might have sold out and they'll be bringing more in. So it's always good to talk to the new build developers as well to see what they've got coming on. Now, when you are looking online to find your property and once you've found one you need to get prepared for viewing the property as well so i would always recommend taking with you checklist so some form of home buying checklist if you need one i can get one over to you but taking a checklist to each property will allow you to just sit there and you can tick the boxes on it and, and see the pros and cons of each property see if it fits what you're after and you can then compare it against other properties that you've saw to see if it's going to be the right one for you. I hope you found this useful and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.